praise God. She'll have to sing too next time. Amen. Hallelujah. Go with me to Acts chapter 18 in the name of Jesus. You coming back, buddy? Okay. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 18, we're going to start reading the first verse in the name of Jesus. Come on. Reading from what? King James Version. Yes, sir. A King James Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That'll preach. A King James 1611 Bible. Amen. 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 Over 400 years old. Amen to God. We just celebrated it recently. Come on. Y'all get somebody shouting about that. Amen. I love reading the King James. Glory to God. I'm glad some of the old time saints of old, praise God, stay with the King James. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We also want to welcome everybody tonight here to Voice of the Lord. We welcome those out there tuning in by YouTube and Facebook, listening to the Preaching and Truth broadcast, uh, BOTO Radio, praise God, whatever avenue that you're tuning into, we welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody, just say praise the Lord to them. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Just sit back, enjoy, get ready to hear the Word of God that's going to change your life forever. Hallelujah. Amen. Acts chapter 18, beginning in verse 1. And if you're able to stand to your feet for the reading of God's Word, you can. If not, you can sit. Either way, it doesn't matter. Praise God. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, lately come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and come unto them. And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent makers. Paul was a tent maker, praise God. Amen. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timothy were come from Macedonia, Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was the Christ. Hallelujah. And when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your heads. I am clean. From henceforth I will go unto the Gentiles. And he departed and he departed thence and entered into a certain man's house named Justice, one that worshipped God, whose house joined hard to the synagogue. Verse 8. And Crispus, the chief ruler of the synagogue, believed on the Lord with all his house, and many of the Corinthians here and believed and were baptized. Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, Be not afraid. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Be not afraid. Be not afraid. afraid. Hallelujah. If God is in your life, you shouldn't be afraid. Amen. Amen. Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not Amen. thy peace. Glory to God. That preach right there. Amen. Amen to God. But speak, and hold not thy peace. For I am with thee, and no man shall sit on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. Thank you, Jesus. How, aren't you glad tonight that he's with us and he'll never leave us nor forsake us? Amen, Amen to God. Amen. And that he'll take care of us, that nobody's going to hurt us if he's with us. Amen to God. Amen. He says, I am with thee, and no man shall sit on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. Verse 11. And he continued there a year and six months teaching the word of God among them. Hallelujah to God. We see here Paul, praise God, went there to minister. Hallelujah. And he said, it said there in verse 11, he was there for 18 months. Yeah. Now I know sometimes we read the Word of God and we think things happen just in minutes or seconds or a day or two. But this was 18 months. How many knows how long 18 months is? It's quite a while, praise amen, God. Amen. He tarried there with them to teach them, amen to God, to show them, amen to God, the Word of God, to show them that Jesus was the Christ and that what He did at Calvary was for them, praise God, to pay the debt of sin that, amen to God, we could not pay. To show them that the law was not saved them. It's by grace through faith in Christ, amen to God, Come that on. you're saved. Hallelujah. He was showing these people there this, praise God, because these people in the city that were we're either religious or heathen, amen to God. And yeah. we see that a lot nowadays, praise God. Either you're dealing with the heathens or you're dealing with, dealing with the spirit of religion that will hinder what the Holy Ghost is trying to do. Uh -huh. It quenches the spirit. The Bible says, quench not the spirit of God, amen to God. 
That's why we're not seeing victory in churches today. That's why people are staying bound up because they're still in bondage to that under the law because the law tells them that they're no good. They can't be forgiven. They can't be loved. A God would not have died on the cross to shed His blood for them to forgive the sins they do. Well, I got news for you. He did. Praise Amen. God. The debt's been paid. He laid His life down. Amen to God. He rose from the grave to live again. Hallelujah. He's alive forevermore. Uh -huh. tonight. Somebody say amen about that. Amen. And I still believe in preaching in Christ and Him crucified because it's the message of the cross today that's going to get the person set free. It's not a feel-good, real-good message. It's not one of these you're positive all the time. It's the message of Jesus Christ and Him crucified that will set the sinner free, praise God, from the bondage of sin. Amen. So I thank God Paul labored for 18 months, praise God, in this place. And I know as a man of God, he got tired. Come on. How many in here ministers and Preachers today, you get tired at times when you preach. Come on, amen. Hallelujah, can I see a show of hands? Amen. You preach, praise God, you physically get wore out. You you just preach everything God gives you and you get exhausted. Yeah. I know we, we just got done doing a three-day revival at Sister Mary's over this past weekend, and I know I'm still tired physically. Come on. And I poured out everything God gave me, and God's filling me back up. But amen to God, I would not trade it for nothing. Amen. Praise God. I would I amen to God, I would stay up months, praise God, just to preach the gospel, just so one soul could hear it, amen to God, that's Come lost on. on their way to hell. I mean, do you have that same conviction tonight, praise God, that Come you on. would go just for one person, amen to God, yeah. if that's all that was going to be there, would you go, amen to God, would you travel, praise God, a lengthy amount of place to go just to preach the gospel on. so one person could hear? Is that what you're feeling tonight, amen to God? Because that's what we need to do. He said, amen to God, if one says go one mile, no, go two miles with him. Go with the extra mile, praise God, for your amen. brother and sister in need, amen to God. And that's amen. the way we got to be, and that's where we need to ask the Lord to put us to tonight. Is praise God going above and beyond for His, amen to God, name's sake. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you tonight, and I'm not going to hold you long, but this message tonight is it can, it's for anybody, but it's mainly hitting the believers tonight. Because when we do what God has called us to do, Amen to God. And we just go and do what the Lord says. Sometimes we get wore down. And how many has ever heard the term, you get a second win? Amen. Amen, Amen to God. Do you know if you do a lot, a lot of labor and work and stuff, you, your body wears down, you sit down and rest for a little bit, maybe get you something to drink, get you something to eat, and you get that second win back in you, and you get up and you get going again. Oh. Well, praise God, I want to use in the Spirit now a spiritual second win, amen to God, because I tell you, when we get wore down and tired in the Spirit, Jesus wants to revive us back up, praise God, and make us anew, amen to God. He says, amen to God, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest, praise God. He oh. said his burden is easy and his yoke is light. Praise God. I know if Jesus said that, he's going to give it to us. Praise God. So I'm talking to you tonight on the spiritual, praise God, second win. Father, we come before you now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the word tonight. We thank you for the power of the word, the anointing of the word, Lord God. I pray, Lord, those that will sound of my voice, Lord, will receive this word, dear God, and apply it to their lives. Lord, touch those out by the airways as well, Lord Jesus. Hide me behind the cross. Let me decrease as you increase, Lord. And we plead the blood of Jesus over this service and make the devil get out of here in Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord. Have your way tonight in Jesus' name. And everybody say it with me. Amen. And amen. I'm going to ask you to do one more thing and then we'll get going. Get up and go give somebody the biggest hug. Praise God. A bear hug. Hallelujah. Tell them you love them. Amen to God. You're glad to see them. Don't lie. Tell, tell them you are glad to see them. Praise Amen. God. If somebody did you wrong, make it right. Praise God. So let's get up and just fellowship for a second. Amen to God. And love somebody. Hallelujah. These are your brothers and sisters you're going to spend eternity with. Amen. Praise God. Love you, man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know we're tired tonight, amen. But it's good, though, praise God, to do this, amen. Let's us all love one another. Amen. Amen. Love you, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. A spiritual second wind is what we need today, church. Amen to God. Hallelujah. Those battle-weary saints that 
They do what God has called them to do, and I tell you, God wants to revive us back up. Amen. And you ain't got to wait till some somebody puts a sign up that says revival in order to be revived. You can be revived sitting in your living room, praise God. Amen to God. Taking a bath, amen to God. You just get with Jesus and pray. Get in the Word, amen to God. I'll tell you something for me. God has, has put on my heart to wake up like 15, 20 minutes extra earlier in the morning time so I can get in the Word more than what I do and spend time with Him, praise God. And I tell you, it benefits me so much because before I go, amen to God, eat my breakfast and go get in the shower, well, I'm all hyped up and i got to be careful because I'll start shouting and wake the kid up, amen to God, and then that won't be good, hallelujah, because then I can sneak out the door and go to work and then he's hollering when Mommy's there, amen. Amen. Come on. <laughs> hallelujah, that's going to get me in trouble. i got to look just then. But hallelujah. But but we today though, seriously, we need to really get back. And if we're tired spiritually, uh, amen to God, we need to get back to praying. Like well, Brother Brad was saying earlier. I tell you that's one thing that the body of Christ is lacking today is prayer. Amen. I mean, we've got everything we're doing. You know, we're having we're having special seminars, we're having special people come in to preach, we're having special singers come in to pre sing. We're just having all these different things going. We're having activities during the weekends. But the one thing I'm seeing that the body of Christ is not doing today is getting down and seeking the face of God. Amen. Yes, we, we complain about the situation with America today. We complain about the school system, but what are we doing about it? Come on. Amen to God. I mean, it's easy to run your mouth, amen to God, and, you know, flap your gums. But praise God, it's not easy to get down and pray about it, praise God, instead of saying things that you can't take back because we're going to be judged for every idle word we speak out of this mouth. This tongue is very deadly, praise God. It's deadlier than if I took a hand grenade and pulled the pen, deadlier than that. Come on. Because I tell you, you can fix stuff in the natural. If things get broken, you can repair them back. But words damage people, I tell you today. And we need to be very careful what we say to people. We need to pray all the time. We need to be in a, in, being led by prayer, praise God. We need to just talk to the Father, amen to God. When we go get mad, pray about it, amen to God. That's what Lord tells me sometimes. When I get in a bad mood or something, she says, go off and pray, praise God. Go Come off on. and pray before you say something that you don't mean, amen to God. And that's the truth, hallelujah. Because we run our mouths too much, amen. amen. And usually sometimes we do that when we're tired. How many has ever just said things you didn't mean when you retired physically? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We've got to get out of this, this, this feeling of praise God, giving up, praise God. Christians are bad about that. They will give up, praise God. If something don't go the way it's supposed to go, they will just throw the towel in and say, I'm done. Come on. Praise God. If they pray one time for somebody and they don't get saved, they're done. Come on. If they go to church one time and something spectacular don't happen to their liking, yeah, they're done amen. and they won't come back. Amen. Hallelujah. And I mean, sometimes it's not going to happen the first time. Amen. Come on. Just We can pray for somebody to be healed and praise God, I believe in the miraculous. I believe God still does heal and He can heal, praise God. But sometimes, though, there's reasons why they're not healed that first time. It may be Amen. unbelief on their part. It may be that the Lord is trying to get them to seek Him. Praise God. There's different things. Hallelujah. But we give up to easy. We become depressed about it. Amen to God. We're just like, well, I'm going to throw the talent. I'm done with it. Praise God. I'm, I'm not going to listen to the preacher no more. I'm not going to read my Bible no more. I'm not going to be around them. If I see them coming, I'm going to go the other way. How many knows what I'm talking about tonight? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Y'all have this attitude. They'll miss me when I'm gone. Praise God. Come on. Amen. If you don't let them do what they want to do, have their way, praise God, they're done with it. Yeah. They're not coming back. They always say treated me different, amen, to God. what some say. Yeah. Because they didn't do this or do that, or that didn't go my way, praise God. God, if you don't give me this, hallelujah, God, well, you won't never hear from me again. Come well, on. praise God, you're just hurting yourself, amen to God. You're amen. cutting your life supply off, amen to God. When a baby is hooked to that umbilical cord, amen to God, he's getting stuff, amen to God, or she's getting stuff to keep them nurtured, amen to God. Come so on. when you cut off prayer with God, you just cut that cord, amen oh, to God. Come on. And you just ended up your supply, praise amen. God. I tell you, you got to stay linked up and hooked up to amen. Jesus, praise God. Somebody told me the other day, well, I'm all chained up to these old alcohol and cigarettes and smoke. I said, I'm chained up to Jesus, praise Come God. On. I said, leave me chained up to Jesus. Lock me up, throw the key away, amen to God, and let me stay linked up to Jesus. Hallelujah. Because I tell you, if I stay with Jesus, praise God, no matter what comes my way, praise Come God, on. through hell and high water, praise God, I know I'm going to be okay. Because
Because I'm grounded on the rock of ages. Somebody help me now. I'm grounded on the rock of ages. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Because I'm on Christ the solid rock. Go red. Somebody else shout about that. Praise God. How many on Christ the solid rock tonight? You're on Jesus. Praise God. The devil come out trying to knock you up. And you're not going to be moved. Praise God. Like the old song says, I shall not be. I shall not be moved. Now, I'm not going to be moved. Hallelujah. Woo! I don't know. That should get you excited tonight. Praise God. Because when the doctor tells you, hallelujah to God, the doctor says you're going to die in six months. You can look at him if you're in Jesus. I'm not going to be moved. Doctor. Hallelujah, God. The boss man comes in and says, we got to let you go because we're not making it. Amen to God. You can say, that's okay. Because on Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Praise God. The world will look at you while you're standing there. They're falling down. Amen to God. And sinking. But you're standing with Jesus. Hallelujah. It pays to stand with Jesus. Amen. Woo! Go right. My goodness. Do y'all feel what I'm feeling tonight? I'm about to jump out of this old body and go and see Jesus. Go right. Hallelujah. If I fall down, praise God. Get the keys out of my pocket and just drive home, honey. Praise God. I don't know what the Lord's going to do tonight. I just feel the Holy Ghost moving in Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Thank you, Lord. I'll tell you. There's a spiritual second wind coming. Amen to God. I think I just got mine right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woo. Brother Brad, you know what I'm feeling. Amen to God. You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just can't be still. You just got to move. You just got to move around a little bit. Praise God. You just got to move and let God be God. Amen. Come on. Woo. Glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Woo. Y'all pardon me, praise God. I can't help it. I'm just in love with Him. Amen. I'm having a love fest up here with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Man. Glory to God. I'm going to show you some folks in the Word of God. Hallelujah. They needed a spiritual second. Amen to God. Uh, uh, praise God. When? Hallelujah. Let's look at Moses, for instance. Amen. Hallelujah. He was a great leader. Hallelujah. God used him to do a mighty work. Amen. Praise God. To lead the children of Israel from Egypt. The bondage they were in under Pharaoh. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise God. Hand picked by God. Had God's power on his life. Amen. Yeah. But Numbers 11 15 says, And if thou deal with me, excuse me, deal thus with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of thy hand, if I have found favor in thy sight, and let me not see my wretchedness. Praise God. Moses, amen to God, he had to get a spiritual, a spiritual second wind, amen to God. Come on. He got tired, amen to God. He had nagging Israelites on his case all the time. Amen. You brought us out here into this wilderness, Moses. You said God told us to come out here. Now we're wandering in here for 40 years. Yeah. What are we going to do now? Sounds like the modern church. Come on. Praise God. The preacher tries to preach the truth, amen to God. But somebody, amen to God, sitting on their seat gets mad. Come on, amen. Praise God. Or he goes five minutes past what it should be done. Well, we're supposed to, Brother Bill, we're supposed to be out of here at 12 o'clock so we can get the first seat down, amen, to God at Pizza Hut. Come on. Praise God, because we can't miss our Sunday afternoon football. Come on. We don't need to hear the Word anymore because, you know, you can hear that any time. <coughs> well, we got to watch the football game on TV. Come on. When did football become more important than the Word of God? Yeah. I see it, amen to God. We get done with church up there, we go grab us a bite of tea, and all them people's looking at it. Is that TV screen watching the football? Man, they more into that football than anything. And they were the same people you just sat with, what, 20 minutes ago, praise God, and they couldn't even get off their feet and go, thank you, Lord. But they're over going, kill him, kill him, kill him. Come on. <laughs> amen. That bothers me. Somebody says they're Holy Ghost filled, praise God, and they act like that, and they don't praise God when they're together with the believers, amen to God. Something's wrong there. Amen. Something's wrong. I really have to wonder if they are spirit filled. Yeah. They may be spiritually flesh filled, but not spirit filled, amen to God. Oh. Talking about with the Spirit of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Thank you, Hunter. Preach it with me. Amen. Joshua. Oh, Lord. How many of those Joshua went through some stuff? Amen. Hallelujah. They said he was a great general, handpicked by God to lead Israel 
into the blessed promised land. Amen? Amen. But Joshua, in Joshua 7, 7, it said, And Joshua said, Alas, O Lord God, wherefore hast thou at all brought these people over Jordan to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us? Would to God we had been content and dwelt on the other side of Jordan. Yeah. Man, hallelujah, the depression got him. You know, he had a lot to deal with, praise God. Preachers today got a lot to deal with. Come on. For some reason, people act like if you don't preach what they want to hear, hallelujah, they get mad at you. And they think you're not hearing the voice of the Lord. Amen. Somebody told me, amen, God, I had a gentleman at a revival. He come up to me and he said, Brother Mike, pray for me. And I said, what is it you want me to pray for, uh, pray for you about, agree with you with? He said, well, you know, just ask the Lord to tell you. And I thought, well, they're right there. There's a sign right there. So I prayed for him. And I said, Lord, what is it that he needs? The Lord showed me faith. I prayed, amen, to God. He got mad because I didn't pray for something else and he left. Uh -huh. And he called the pastor of the church later that night and he told on me. Yeah. Well, Brother Mike didn't pray what I wanted him to pray, so I'm not coming back. Come on. I don't care. I don't mean that in a bad way, but hey, you're just hurting yourself, amen to God. Amen. You're not going to make me lose no sleep, because Come if on. I preach the Word to you and you hear it, it's on you at that point. Amen. Praise God. Well, he came back and he apologized the last night of the revival. He said, Brother, he said, I guess I was in the wrong. I said, well, I said, ain't no hard feelings about it. But praise God, you can't let that stuff, you can't let that stuff lead you, praise God. That's what wears preachers out. Amen to God. That same preacher, they, they sit down and talk with me, and they said, you know, this is the stuff that just really wears us down. It's the childish stuff you got to put up with. Come on. Praise God. That's why I feel so sorry for pastors, praise God. Come on. Because I tell you, they go through so much stuff. They have to put up with so much stuff. It's almost like running a daycare. Come on. Somebody, all the preachers and the pastors in here can say amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. amen. It's almost like running a daycare. Do you want me to change your diaper? Praise Come God. On. Do you want me to put some powder on you? Praise God. Come Do you on. want me to get the right kind of wet wipes so you don't get a rash or a blister? Amen to God. Come God on. forbid. Hallelujah. Do you want me to put a little smell good on you? Amen to God. Come That's on. the way they want us to be. But we got to be what Jesus wants us to be. Is that all right? Can I preach amen. like that? That's good. So thank God Joshua, amen to God, even though he felt like quitting, he got over it. God gave him a second <coughs> win, amen? Amen. Elijah, whoo, man. I tell you, Elijah, bless his heart, amen to God, he had one of the greatest victories over the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, amen? Come on. It was up, what, 450 Prophets and then uh, I think 400 of just the people, prophets or preachers around there or something, I think is what it was. But won a great victory over the prophet of Baal. Yeah. Showed them that his God was the one true God. God. Yeah, amen. I mean, come on now. That is something to rejoice about. Come on. Getting amen. victory like that. Showing the devil, praise God, that God is still God and he's not dead. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The ones they're serving. Amen. And I think about this, I get tickled at those prophets of Baal, Brother Brad, because they were sitting up there, ripping their clothes, cutting themselves, getting all mad. I mean, and this is the God they chose to serve. Come on. And He wasn't there for them. He didn't show up for them. Amen. I'm glad Jesus shows up for us. Amen. Hallelujah Amen. to God. Hallelujah. Right, we don't have to take a knife and start cutting ourselves wide open, praise God. He'll show up if we call on Him. Amen to God. He's as close as the whisper of His name. Amen to God. Even before you whisper His name, He's there. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't have to call. He's already there. Amen to God. But He just wants you to call Him sometimes. How many knows what I'm talking about? Amen to God. When you call your wife, you say, Honey, honey, praise God. I know you're changing, Hunter, but you say, honey, honey, praise God. And when they come, you just get all giddy inside. Amen? Come on. Or when a kid calls for you and they see you, they get all excited. Amen? Because when they see you come up on there, their face changes and they smile. Praise God. That's the way we are with Jesus. Because when He comes up on the scene, we just get a big old smile inside. Amen to God. We look like that big yellow face Walmart smile. Amen to God. Where it's just Amen. overflowing. Praise God. How many knows what I'm talking about? Amen. Come on. So Elijah, praise God, got the victory. Hallelujah that day. But then, 1 Kings 19.4, But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, 
and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die. Yeah. Because Jezebel had put a thing out after him. Come on. And said, It's enough now, O Lord. Take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. I'm just going to give up. Amen. God, coming off one of the greatest victories. See how the devil wears you down? Come on. That's why we've got to stay close to Jesus. We've got to stay with Him always. Amen? Amen. Not just on times we get together or on special occasions, but every day, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. He's got to be the only thing on our minds, praise God. The only one we run to, praise God. Now, I know you can go to your brothers or sisters for help, don't get me wrong, but Jesus should be the first, amen, to God. The first and only one you seek after for your help, amen. Come on. But thank God he got over that, though. God gave him a second win and got him going again. Praise God. Amen. I'm thankful for that. Hallelujah. Well, how many knows about Job? Yeah. Lord of mercy. I'll tell you, Job went through some stuff. Amen. I'll tell you, he, he was faithful to God. He loved God. Amen. I mean, he had patience. I mean, such great patience. Amen. He got such great faith. He was truly a great man. He had a great beginning and a great ending. Amen to God. But in between there, he went through some stuff. Yeah. The devil approached the Lord and said, I can make him curse you. In other words, Lord, I can make him quit serving you, loving you, being faithful to you. Let me have my time with him. He said, you can do anything but kill him. Amen. That's how much confidence God had in Job that he would not deny him. Yeah. Think about that. That's what God is saying about you tonight. That's my child, devil. He says, that's my child, devil. Come on. You can do anything to him. He's not going to deny me. She's not going to deny me. Because I know where they're, where they're grounded and rooted in. They're rooted in me, he's saying. Come on. Praise God. And they'll call upon me when troubles come. He says he's a very present help in a time of trouble. Amen. Glory to God. Did you get that in your spirit? Jesus is a very present help in a time of trouble. When you get in trouble, all you got to do is say Jesus. And he's right there. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And the devil flees when you say that. And that's why I say it three times. Come on. Praise God. That's why I may, I just I love to aggravate the devil. I love to. I love to praise God, amen? Because when I start praising Him, the devil runs. Amen. And we don't need to let the devil stay around. We need to make him run. You give the devil an inch, he will take a mile. Amen? The devil, his will is to kill you. The devil's will is to make sure you're miserable, you're sad, you're broke, you're busted, you're disgusted. You just don't want to keep going on. He makes you to where you want to end your life. Come on. And that's why I say, praise God. You know, I give my testimony. I know people say, I'm sick of hearing it, brother Mike. Ha ha, you're alive and well, praise God. Yeah, but let me tell you though, God did something great for me, praise God. See, I served Him before, but I got sidetracked. I took my eyes off Jesus when all that was going on. And if I would have just went back to Jesus, praise God, hallelujah, I probably that would never happen. But I thank God in the sense for it, because God has done some great things through it, praise God. Hallelujah. My atheist doctor got saved, amen to God. Seven weeks in the hospital, she gave her life to Jesus on the last day and released me out of the hospital. That gets me saved. Was it all worth it? Praise God for her soul. Yes, it was. Looking Amen. back, hallelujah, praise God. I see where God has let me grow in Him, praise God, like never before. To where I'm just so in love with Him, praise God. Not that I wasn't before, but I love Him now more than ever. I appreciate everything He's doing for me. He's done for me. He's going to do for me. Amen. Amen. It makes me a better husband, a better father, a better minister, praise God, a better friend to people, praise God. It just makes me better, amen to God, when I've got Jesus leading my whole way, amen? Because I tell you, I've been to where I've wanted to just give up too. I've been to where I just said, hey, I'm done with this. I'm tired of asking people to help me, praise God. Hallelujah, Brother Billy, you know, I texted you about that last Thursday, amen to God. But you know, I'm not going to worry about it. It's in the hands of God and I ain't going to worry about it. I'm going to keep on keeping on, praise God. Yes, you get set back a little bit, but I believe, how many of you ever played in pinball machines? You, that little ball comes up there and you pull that handle back and you pop it off and the ball goes. I think that's the way the Lord does us. We make it set back a little bit. He's like, guess what? Woo! I'm going to prepare you forward, amen? Thank God for that. Hallelujah. Job said in Job 3.3, 3, he said, let the day perish wherein I was born. And the night in which it was said, there is a man child, child conceived. My goodness, that's bad when you get that low. 
Come on. Praise God, especially when you know God's got a plan and a purpose for your life. See, when the devil fights you that hard, that means God's got something big for you. Amen. When he comes at you that rough, Brother Brad, you said y'all was praying for people in your church. And the devil's been attacking left and right. And I tell you, he'll do it. That's when you know you're doing good for God. If you're doing something for Jesus and you're not getting attacked by the devil, something's wrong there. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah.